finally, I am done mowing for the year. Do you get that way at the end of the year? I mean, you're getting into late season, October, November, the weather's changing, and you just want to be done mowing. You want to cuddle up and watch a football game, read a book, eat some nice hearty soup. You don't want to think about fall and lawn mowing. You want to think about fall and cozy. Because we know that come spring, March and April, when the birds start to chirp and the leaves start to pop out and the grass starts to green up, we're ready to get out, right? We've been cooped up all winter and we want to get out and enjoy spring and get on the lawn. And there's nothing more frustrating than getting out to mow the lawn in March and the sucker won't start or it needs some love, okay? And we're here, we're your local dealer. We're here to do that for you. So bring it in and have us do it for you. But if you're kind of a DIYer and you just want to do some things yourself, here's some quick things you can do to get ready for winter. So I'm going to say the first thing that I would do is actually flip it over. Now, when we flip a Honda mower, right, we're going to always flip it with the air filter up or dipstick down. Okay. They're always going to be on the opposite side. So dipstick down, if that's what works in your brain, go dipstick down, or maybe your air filter up, whatever. Dipstick down, boom, it's flipped over. I wanna clean this out. There's two ways I can do it. I can scrape it out and brush that all out. That's good, that works well. Or if you wanna get the hose out or the pressure washer out, you are able to wash this with water, that's fine. But let's focus on this outer region. Let's not focus here in the middle where the belt is and all that, that, that doesn't matter. You're actually not gonna see a lot of grass in there. So let's clean the mower deck and let's coat it. Let's quickly, let's back up. We'll get to the coating in a little bit. Okay, the mower deck is clean. Let's flip it down. Let's pull it onto a clean, dry surface. I don't want to fire it up on that load of grass that I just had there. Pull the handle, pull the rope, and I want to run this thing. Now, hopefully we're low on gas and we can actually run it out of gas. So this, is, this takes a little bit of foresight because we're hoping to put in Aspen fuel that's gonna give you a super long stable shelf life so that it starts in the spring, right? So let's run it, let's run it out of gas. Now it's good and warm. Here's the next step. Again, dipstick down. Let me flip this so we can see it together, guys. Dipstick down and let's change the oil, okay? So we're gonna be just like this we're gonna get the bottom of a bucket or we're gonna get an oil pan. We're gonna slide it under here and we're gonna remove this dipstick and out is gonna drain roughly 14 ounces of oil or so. This model, the GCV 170 and GCV 200 will not drain the oil well when it's all the way over. You actually have to lift this sucker up to about this angle. So I let it sit like this for a minute and then I come back and I hold it up like that and it drains the rest of the oil out. Okay, we're good. The oil is drained. Also now the bottom of the deck is dried out because I had this thing running. I want to coat this deck with an anti-stick treatment. We here at Carl's Mower and Saw, we like to use Modec. It's a good preventative thing. It keeps things cleaner in the future. So I'm going to spray this deck down with Modec. It's a good time to look at my blades. This is something a lot of people don't like to do. This is, you know, maybe they don't have the right impact gun. They don't have the right long extension on their ratchet, whatever it is. So you know, if you want to bring it in and have the blade sharpened, maybe you do that. If you're comfortable, pull the blades off, get those sharpened, right? We're putting this away quickly for winter, so it's good to go. Okay, I'm going to flip it back up, right? I've drained the oil out. I've coated the mower deck. I've taken care of my blades. I want to look at the air filter. All year long, this thing has been breathing in that summer dust as I'm mowing pig pin, right? Rolling up the dust. Let's pop off the cover right here. Push in two little tabs. Filter in hand. Tap it out, not there, away from that. How's it look? Can I see through it? Would I want to breathe through this? Because this mower has to breathe through this for an hour every week. If it's ugly, let's throw a new filter in. Now remember that dipstick that we took out to drain the oil? Hopefully that's still sitting there so you have the reminder that there's no oil in it because we just went to the air filter. And that's fine. Let's put this cover back on. Let's flip her sideways. Dipstick was sitting here on the ground. Boom. Grab my bottle of Honda 1030 oil. Put that in. This is nice, easy. This is actually like the exact amount you need, so you don't even have to think about it. But if you have a quart, doop, 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 put in your oil. 
Check that dipstick a couple times, good to go. Hey, we've got a couple bearings, you know, on the front wheels and rear wheels. Not a bad idea to get out your spray lube, Honda penetrating lubricant. Hit those points, kind of hit your pivot points. Fresh oil, fresh filter, cleaned deck, good Aspen fuel, right? We don't want to store this thing with just the gas you picked up at the pump because we know that the shelf life of gas is short and we want to get that out of here. Not a bad idea to clean your bag. And then I would say the biggest thing I can tell people or encourage people to do is keep it inside. You know, this sitting under a tarp in the backyard, it'll do it, but you are seriously shortening the life of this mower deck, right? It's sitting there, moisture's coming in underneath, and six, seven, eight years from now, you're rusting out your mower deck, and you're going, what's going on? Well, I've never cared for it. So let's clean it up, make it pretty, put it in the shed for winter, and when I pull it out in the spring, it's gonna be ready to go. Hey, this is Josh from Carl's Mower and Saw. Thanks for watching our videos. We're proud of the fact that we've been serving you with the best in outdoor power equipment since 1990. We're glad that you had an opportunity to sit down, watch our videos, learn something about an exciting new product that we have, something that interests you for your property, or really how to use your equipment to the best of its ability. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube. We're excited to share more information with you. See you soon.